Hello everybody, Todd here, All Things Archery and Shooting. I thought I'd do a quick video today on how to set your um, bow quiver up correctly with your arrows. The reason I'm doing this video is because I was out hunting my buddies this past weekend with two of them and they both had recurve bows, one had a long bow and they had one of these bow mounted quivers on. Problem was they had the arrows lined up wrong in the quiver and all their feathers were all completely damaged and tore up and messed up because they were rubbing each other, they didn't have them installed right. So I thought I'd make a quick video, I realized that, I mean, I look, think about it, there's a lot of people that don't quite do that right, so I figured I'd make a quick video on the proper way to set up a new quiver on your bow, okay, with your broadheads. And the bow we're going to use today, this is my Bear um, Stag Hunter bow, it's a 48 pound bow. And this is one of the Amazon quivers, they run about 40 to 45 dollars you can find them for. They're great quivers, they hold it real well, I've got several of these, you've seen in my videos, they shoot, I mean, they, they don't move, once they're on, they don't move, they're solid. And for the money, you really can't beat these quivers. They're really good. They got real leather cover on them, really dense foam in them, and the and the grippers are really strong. You can see this is a brand new one, okay? Those are really strong. You can see this is a brand new one, okay? What we're gonna be doing, since this bow is tuned for these carbon arrows, these are 500 spine carbon arrows. They're 29 and a half inches long. I'm sorry. They are. These are 30 inches. Rub that. Rub that. Rub that. Rewind. Stop. Okay. Here we go. The arrows that this bow is tuned for, these are these are 500 spine carbon arrows, 30 inches long, okay? They have a 5 inch shield cut feather on them, okay? And they have the Zwicky No Mercy Broadhead, which is 130 grain head. They also make this head in 165 grain, which I use on my heavier bows. But these 130 grains work really well out of this bow, okay? And these are all already set up in tune so that they're to this to this bow and also my broadhead is oriented correctly. What I mean by that is when I draw it back, the broadhead is like this. That's the way you don't want your broadhead this way, you get a chance of cutting your so you pull too far back. You want it like this for more clearance. And the way you get that done with a carbon arrow, people don't understand how to move a carbon arrow, because you realize you can't put heat on this carbon or ruin the carbon. So the quickest, easiest way to do it is take you a, a field point, just like this field point here and heat up the field point itself, not the carbon field point, then put a pair of pliers on it and twist it till you find the right orientation for your broadhead and then let it cool. And that's all you need to do. That's how you, you adjust uh, the orientation of your broadhead on your carbon arrow without damaging your carbon, okay? Now the way these are set up here, these are, these are the Zwicky, um, no mercy broadheads. They're 130 grains, okay? And the way you set these up, you want to stagger your quiver. So you all start from whatever side you want to start from. I don't care, left or right. But first one, you don't want to put them directly across from each other. The problem with that is they start rubbing each other. You want to put them at a staggered angle. I mean by a staggered angle, I'll show you. You do it like this, all the way across. They're, your feathers are going to rub at the bottom. So you want to do a staggered angle. So the first one, for instance, I'll do here is you line it up here. You want to get it so the whole broadhead's covered, okay? Come back a little bit. Be careful, once you do it, you can't change it, okay? And now slide it in, okay? You wanna slide it all the way in until it covers up the broadhead completely, okay? And that's the first one, okay? Now, the second one you wanna stagger. Same way you wanna come above it just a little bit. Line it up on your, line it up here first on your, on your gripper. And then you can look here how I'm staggering this, okay? I'll show you why it's staggered in a minute, okay? So you want to put this right on top of this one, right about here. Okay, that looks about right. You want to be sure you have the same distance between the arrows right here, which it looks about the same distance right there, okay? And then just go ahead and slide it in, okay? Be sure you get it right, or you want to, you want, because once you do it, you want to do it over again, okay? So slide it in. Again, all the way to the, you want to bottom out that broadhead so it's not damaging your, there we go, lock it in. Okay, next one you want to stagger below, same way, just stagger below it. You got to keep it in the same plane, like right here, see I'm doing that, it's staggered below, line it up on this, okay. You want to be sure that you don't overlap your, your thing, all right, just like that. A little higher, a little lower, right about there. Yeah, there we go. Slide it in, just like that. Lock it down. Okay. Last arrow. Let's just put it at the top. 
Okay, same way, stagger the top right here and just slide it in. Okay. Here's a better view of the stack, how they stagger these broadheads, either staggered, not going straight across. And if you look at the, okay, and if you look at your feather fletching, it gives you enough clearance on all your feather fletching so they're not touching anywhere. So you're not rubbing when you're shooting your bow and things like that, okay? So they won't rub or anything like that, which is nice. Otherwise, you put them straight across, they would all be rubbing each other, and over time it's going to wear your feathers out and fray them. All right? That's the proper way to do that, and it's very sturdy and won't go anywhere, okay? That is how you set up your broadheads and your arrows with your new quiver, okay? You don't go straight across, you want to stagger them, just like I did there, okay? All right, well, this is going to be a quick video. I mean, hope this helps you guys out and uh, keep you from rubbing your feathers together like, like my buddies did and ruined theirs. And if you had a chance, check out this 4 arrow quiver. I'll put, a, I'll put a link in Amazon for this quiver in my description box if you want to buy it. I said they were about $40 or $45. The arrows I got from Amazon, too, these are like 40 bucks a dozen, which you can't beat. They're a 400, I mean, sorry, 500 spine, but they're 0 .003 tolerance, so they're really close tolerances. And they're... They run about 11 grains per pound, I mean 11 grains per inch, okay, of weight. So they're pretty good heavy arrows. This, these arrows here with these broadheads weigh right around 530 to 540 grains, which are perfect for this 48 pound bow. Coming out of this bow, I think you saw the review on this bow and it's longer. I think it's doing like 170, 175 feet per second with these arrows. So it's moving pretty good with these arrows and it shoots really well, all right? All right, well again, this has been Todd, All Things Archery and Shooting. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please click that like button. And also, if you can, please go ahead and click that, um, that, that bell next to that, um, that like button. That way I can notify you upcoming videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, all right? Leave me a comment down below what you think and what about, about this video or any of the that are coming. I love answering my comments and reading my comments, and I try to answer every one for you guys, okay? All right, I want to thank you guys for watching, and good luck this year out there hunting. Uh, I'll be out back in the woods this, uh, this weekend again. If you check out my Patreon channel, I'm uploading some hunting videos from opening weekend. I think you'll find it interesting. I killed a, a really nice buck and a couple hogs and also a turkey. So I'll be uploading those videos all this week. They should be live probably by, I would say by Saturday or Sunday, Monday, the very latest they'll be live. Right now it's um, Wednesday, so you're not too far off, all right? All righty, guys. Thanks again for watching. Leave me a comment, and until next time, ciao.